good evening and welcome back to more satisfactory the first thing we need to do is actually figure out we needed the screenshot to figure out what we did at the in this break uh, what we did was actually we ran around there but we'll also take a look at this weird train station and just call it that's gonna be what we are kind of doing okay um, Trains, you say? Trains, trains, trains. What are we going to do? Anyone have any brilliant ideas? We could... <clears throat> we could start making this one and just take it from here and then figure out what would it take or how would it look to, if it went down and how would it look if it went up? Because up is going to be an absolute nightmare. What would... Be the functionality of the trains replacing the belts may be used for transporting high tier to a central storing it's basically i would like to take every single station have a train and that train goes to a central station where everything is located i don't know why but i'd like that a railway for a base tour is another great idea and um, i don't know how to build it though but it could that would not have to be it could be easier, but it could also be more difficult. I think the difficulty is me embracing the spaghetti. That's going to be the biggest issue. Are you making it a monorail or trying to put support structures? Well, I'm going to have to put some support, support structures. But I can also... As a kind of... I know myself, right? And and let's say I make one that goes above this one. I just don't like a completely flying one. So I'd like to hook it to trains like this. Or basically you just punch a hole through this and you drive through it. You could probably do that. Oops, why are we doing that? Could you do that? Hmm. Just heard a mosquito buzzing around my head. Oh, the worst, the worst sound is you just go to bed, you take on your contact lenses, so you can't see a damn thing, and then go zzz, like, that's it. Eat me. I, I'm dead. I have no defense. Uh, let's side of the station inside. Side of the roof and have the station inside. You have to make the roof taller that's exactly what i did here this is why i've experimented just to see how high i need to make it it's not it's going to be okay it's basically one more floor like it was over by the uranium it needs one more floor if for all the towers if i want to do that and and i can do that for sure but on the other hand on the other hand what then Ooh, total five dollars with a wizard one more hour of Nino's wizardry. Whoop for that. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tosel. Thank you. Hmm. Very wizardry. <laughs> All right. Huh. Ah, I guess slaughtered by mosquitoes. Um, I'm usually not that usually juicy, so uh, don't suffer the worst. Now, that would imply that I'd have to find a way to go sort of from there to there to there I mean go from each and every tower but that would be a completely useless train right and let's see so I'm just gonna test something Oh, hello. Didn't work. Yeah, okay. Next problem. I'm going to drive straight through that line. It would be so awesome just punching a hole here. But the whole thing, hell base has not been planned around. He's so... Oh, 
How are we gonna do this? I'm just gonna accept a that they go through this for my testing purposes. So that we can see if this is has any merit at all. Yeah, it's going to have to be way tall. That's really going to be time consuming. Exactly, that's also my the other part of it is how how much of a complete overhaul of everything am I really willing to do? And are you willing to sit through? That's why I was sort of like saying, okay, if I could build this and then drag it out to some central location. I'm also kind of constrained by the fact that what's the point? Because there isn't really any sort of functionality left in the train in the game that demands this. What? Trains to track it too short, you get No? Am I doing it right? Huh? Too steep? Oh, right. It has to be the gentle slope. Uh, oops. Don't you want to have a big station near the space elevator? The idea to circle the whole map. That would be a cool idea. That's a really cool idea. That's not so many good ideas. Just a lot of it is just how exactly are we gonna going to figure out how to do this? Oh yeah, that's also a problem. Where are you? Oh, you're way below us. Hey, three dead mosquitoes! Woohoo! Well done. All right, so one before it starts sloping, and then as short as possible. This is one and a half, and then you get this one, which goes a half before it curves out. That means here. And this goes one. And then we just branch it through here. I'm going to see if this works. If if it works, I do have some. I don't need necessarily need a station here. Uh, let's build a, a train station up here. Can't afford. I'm sure we can afford it. I know that we're clipping. This is experimenting, so please don't kill me. <sighs> Forgot wire and iron rods. How? How embarrassing! pretty smooth to fly through the building, I would say. And how many beacons did it need? Five, okay, so four more. I'm inspired, I'm gonna smack some concrete have all of it. Okay, well, have a nice evening and uh, happy to inspire you to add more concrete. I'm not gonna be flying s smoothly through this. I don't feel I have the right speed. Uh, it works okay. Yeah.
Of course not. Forgot to link that one up to power. Hmm. This is um I, I'm, I know this is not what I like, but I'm going to try to see what it looks like. If it just goes smoothly through this, I might just... I might like it. Okay, now I'm going to make it even worse. No, it doesn't like that. It's too, encro it's too encroaching. Let's, I'll give myself a golf clap for that one. It's also better. Then we can start from the station. It's going to look look better and get a better sense of what it is we want to achieve. There. Choo, choo, choo. There we go. Is it clip? It does not clip. <laughs> Right, so the fact that it does not clip. The fact that it does not clip is absolutely amazing because that means we can punch it through every single one of our towers except the nuclear tower. Uh, but the station is 5 high, yes. But I am thinking more along lines of a base. of a base to a bit, train. Which means I don't need stations, I just need to drive it. And I only need a station one, maybe two locations. Right? And then from here it would have to sort of curve around and go into that. And I like that. It, it's. Then we're going to do a, a traveling salesman problem. Ah, they're always good. And they're Luckily they're really easy. So how would we do that? Right? And just like, how would we go through every one of those locations? <laughs> Lots of planning. You patch the test patch. It's test. It's experimental. Yes, it is. Can't so or it's. I don't know if I can't tell the difference between NP hard, NP complete, NP. I don't know, but it's it's certainly not uh, something that can be solved easily. I think I'm just waiting for Jeffers to jump in at this. Or what about um oh what's what was he now? What was the the guy who was uh, giving me a hard time about my my poor mathematical skills? Hmm, yeah, he seemed to stop hanging around here. Always drive to nearest not already visited. Yeah that's uh, that's a really bad one. That's a bad way of doing it because then you end up something like that one is getting be stuck. Yeah, we have to do something interesting. I like this because driving through here looks pretty cool. I think if you just look at it, right? It looks pretty cool. I, I can I can get on board with that. And the the question is then how are we gonna do? other things, right? I had just done computability and complexity in a month and I'm scared. Well, I would suggest uh, studying for it instead of just being scared. I mean, maybe I'm just being... <sighs> now, this doesn't solve it, any of the the materials problem, but I really don't feel that in, we do need to transport materials by train in a base of this small size. And small in the sense that everything, it's very compact. But there's really limited reason to actually build trains. Because are we going to build a train from that station to that station? Nah, it's, it's definitely not what trains are designed for or optimal for. So one of the things I want to consider is I'm, I would like to have my starting station there, right? And that means I want to go to the smallest tower first, which means if I start here, I want to go out to modular frames. 
and then probably to Nobelisk. And then, oh, Nobelisk is having a problem because there's a secret. Things are meant for long distance. Yes, but I don't have long distance in this base. This one is even doesn't even feel very long, this one. It doesn't feel like it really is justifiable. And that's kind of the issue with the... Yeah, time to expand. Yeah, but... Uh, can Sony... Why? That's my part, right? I mean, I... In my previous base, I set the goal of, like, those 19.3 supercomputers. It was a nice goal and, and something nice to build, but... What's, what's my... What's my goal here? Um, I feel a bit like my Welcome to Factorio. People are like... Build it into a mega base, but I was like, no, no, no. It, it's designed for the scale, and it cannot be scaled up because this thing here cannot be scaled up. It would have to be start completely from scratch. It it doesn't scale very well. I can scale it up maybe maybe to double size for some of it, but certainly not to a factor of five or ten. Mm. In long directions, are you going to sideways? Nope. I am only going to do it from the end to end. All the mines of the map. Hmm, yeah. I'm... I can... Safely take this away. I... It's... This is not gonna happen. I'm not gonna have stations on top. I can... I can feel that now. I mean, that might seem silly. And welcome to... Sh Shameful city here. Ugh. Hmm. of shame okay but we need to build something because I mean my inventory is full you still don't have a tower for everything so that's the current goal uh, odd crazy stuff you're right about that and I'm missing high-tech I'm missing supercomputers and I'm missing turbo engines I think turbo engines maybe they need something else that I don't have Turbo motor. What is that? Radio control, you definitely don't have that. Or heat sink for that matter. Yeah. The, the, the point I'm trying to get at is... Is there a way for me to utilize trains for that? And I suppose one of the ways I could utilize trains for... Oh, I'm going to be really careful not to get some more. Yeah. One of the ways I could use trains for it is by saying... I build it there, the high-speed connectors, for example. And then the high-speed connectors will require... I think we, maybe we're just working our way there. High-speed connector. The alternate requires silica. That's where I need a train from that very, very far away location. And then rubber is easy to come by. Caterium. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Kateria more. I think the Kateria more, we have tapped the ones we have available right now. Yeah. Tapped, tapped. And? And? Ah, that one we don't have. I mean... Maybe we could justify building a train here and bringing this in by train. Don't really think so when we have belts right here, but I don't know. You know the quartz you found up north, like up here? Yeah, I'm sure there's. Right, but it still means that from this location, I'd have to build the train station out because we can't really get above this one. This is the part I'm just getting stuck at. I'm getting stuck at this one. Shit. 
I'm, I'm really just not getting anywhere. Sorry, but look, I don't like the trains. I really don't like them. They are, they're posing some annoying challenges. So, that means I need to get the train above that bridge. That's insane. I think so. Oh, Big man, it's going to be so damn boring to watch. It, it's... It need, a, a playthrough needs some kind of variation to stay relevant. And... Oh, I can't even... I can't blow them up. I can't... Oh, man. I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm really pathetic right now. So it's not going to be very fun to watch. Just tap every mine because how is mine number 17 going to be exciting compared to mine number 18? It's not. That's that's the whole point. All right. So this is going to be a corner. Maybe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I hate the fact that I can't build it. Uh, I can't remove the trees, but I can't just now. I have too much in my inventory. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. It's nine, yes. So this could be template for a tower. It's kind of close. Yeah, it's kind of close. It's too close, isn't it? It's also too close to that. The Lama, 9000. Kind of used with, with finite map. New content gets low after a while. Yep, you're right, you're right. And that's, I mean, I, that's more of a challenge for people like me. I have to try to figure out to build challenges for myself that can remain interesting. And I think one of the big issues is that this base is just designed around two, three. Yeah, I like this one better. It's further out. And should I also make it this way? Yeah, also this way. Uh, all right, so the fact that I wanted the city idea means that everything is gonna be grouped up. And it's grouped up because I want it to look nice when it's close to each other. But that doesn't really work when you're talking about uh, trains. Then you need something spread out, like, oh, let's go there, let's go there. Yeah, season three, a train mega base might be the option. Now, I could do it in two different ways. Uh, the obvious, obvious one, which is more natural to me, is simply start a brand new game and then work from there. The other alternative is just take the train and go there. And then say, that's my base. If I need crap, I go back. I have all the things unlocked, but now I build a base here that does X, Y, Z. So it's the same map. The question is just if I, if I drag my entire thing down by 
by just using that base. One, two, three, four. By having it around five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not ten. Definitely not ten. And put chains to get all the things there. That's kind of the that's kind of what we were looking at before and it was not a good idea. Because getting trains out of my current towers is a nightmare. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm running around in the bushes here. We will cut them down. But I need some space in my inventory first to uh, be able to cut this down. Steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Julian Smith, thank you very much. Three months returning. Thank you very much for joining and uh, welcome. We are having a midlife crisis. Make a train station tower between the other tower and ferry all the resources to new base. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. And then I would kind of lean more towards building a station behind the hub because we're all we're already bringing most of the stuff to the hub at least some of the things to the hub and then we could just focus on building more stuff towards the hub hmm internet keeps cutting out you can watch 15 seconds before it cuts out again all right it's miss Lau. sorry to hear that it sucks maybe you should stop downloading porn in the meantime i mean just of course, options are your choice. Oh, that's a bit of a fall. crap uh, nope I don't want you to watch my YouTube videos in the background that is uh, seems a bit weird still have some things here clipping <coughs> better I think I uh, still got a few things over here Okay. Ah! I was almost deconstructing something I shouldn't. Alright, this is getting better. Space for pillars. So be it. Right, so I think we got this one. I'm not gonna start making it making too much on this one. 
Let's uh, finish up the ground floor. And if we are going to have two stations inbound, we're going to have Caterium and Quartz. Does that mean we need two stations or does that mean we need one station with two products? Both are options. Interesting that Dinos isn't using explosive. I found them to be quite stress relieving when dealing with forest and OCD. Yeah, um, the, because I didn't have them for the longest time and now I don't have any more. Ah, oh, look at this. I am so happy about this. That was such a good choice. Especially that little platform that does a lot to just raise it. Right, so what I want to do now is I want to make two train stations here. Because why not? Are you training today? Yes, I am. We already have that ramp is a train full of uranium driving back and forth and polluting the world. So we'll try to stay away. Now, floor's too steep. No, it's not. Stop complaining. This one has to go out, yeah? But now we try with the ground floor being being trains. If I had the foresight, I would have built this from the start. Uh, nope, that's not going to work, right? Uh, you are not going to work on this side. Nope, 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 nope. We are not making that mistake again. Oh. But that kind of means I can only get one station. If this one in the middle is going too far out, then this one just doesn't leave enough room for the other one because they're one, two, three, four wide, and then a bit more. Let's try this and see if that is actually true. No, I can't deconstruct that part. I have to do it here. So this one's okay, but this is not an attest. Okay, so that's the closest we can make it. What is this? There's like one, two, three, four, five. Now comes the question. Can they be flush against each other? Like encroaching? then it's not <sighs> well that's great HMS Lao then uh, that means you won't be able to see my frustration that's good one two three four five six Do we want one train or two trains? Come on, what do we want? I really want two trains next, two stations next to each other, but I can't fit that in 10 tiles, which is crazy that I can't fit it in, in two tiles. It's gonna be twice as many tracks that we need to lay down because they can't share the tracks. Oh, hold on. I'm going to build the wall out here because that will put a nice barrier to where I can place it. I'm going to be outbound and that's where I wanted to place it but can't. So I have to build it one in there. Let's do the same on the other side and just see where that goes. And it was too steep. This one's fine. What? Uh, that looks very, very close. Huh. Interesting. Uh, 
And this is where the trains will then go out. Problems if you run two track, two trains on one track. So I'm gonna try to avoid that. This is just infuriating that I can't make it just one turn over. On the other hand, these should definitely be next to each other, which means it's gonna be here and here. More shall gather. More shall enter the fray. That's very, very nice. Perhaps. Of course, not so nice. But thank you for not cancelling and uh, staying on as a supporter. Thank you. What is it? One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay, so I want these two to be the tracks where stuff is going on. And it will start going up very soon, but I first want them to get into. Yep, yeah, and then I will build. Nine. This to be a number one. And that is the minimum we could do here. And then we see if that one is no. Too sharp a turn. Alright. That was what I was trying to do. So we have to go same. Stuff just one further out. looks like a middle right and then we'll build it exactly in there and we try again still too sharp a turn this is getting difficult to uh, perfectly honest it's Quite far before we can even do this. And let's see. Yes, finally. Now let's see if the other one will also fly. They are ever so slightly different. I think that this one actually should be better. Or easier. For some reason, no. Good, right? Damn, yes. Why didn't you say you look so beautiful? In <laughs> probably will fix some more stuff with trains because they obviously intend multiple trains to share the same track. Otherwise, it can be ugly lane. Yeah, well, maybe. Okay. Um. Hmm. Nope. and up. One, 
two, and one up. One, two, and one up. And that's simply going to be just how this one completes the climb all the way up there. One, two, And then the question is, should I keep these or should I just remove it so it's just the rails hanging in midair? What's better, having concrete extend into midair or having just the rails out there? Just the rails will look nicer. Mm. You think so? I don't know. Raid! Hey! Hey FX! Good evening! Are you doing this fine evening? Having a bit of rail frustrations or... Or just enjoying the hell out of them? I do like the rails, but... I think there are a lot of things that are a bit wonky. Ugh, why is there no undo button? Now I placed this somewhere and I have no idea where. Oh, there. Still preparing your base to even get to rails. Oh, okay. Well, I built my first train. I'm very happy with it, but it did have some frustrations along the way to uh, to make it as awesome as it is right now. Actually, I, what I'm building here is completely redundant because I don't need to build all of it. I only need to build them where they're actually connected, right? bit salty about having bad internet with so many fun things are happening. Yeah, I can totally relate to that, HMS now. It, especially because uh, internet connection issues is something like you can't do anything about it. I mean, you could restart your router and you can maybe run some diagnostics, but almost certainly it's if you do that and it's still not fixed, it's on the ISP side. And that's not really anything you can do about it. Well, there's hardly anything. You can call and complain, but Probably not at this time. Oh. Okay, these are long tracks. Hmm, are we even gonna make it? I don't know. One. Two. Nope, not that one. Imagine being stranded on a planet like this and just, you don't really have anything to do, but you have this amazing technology. And this is probably also what I would do, like just start building crazy stuff. Like, all right, well, we, we got the food and things are not that dangerous. Well, I'll just start building, building things. Oh, was that correct? Yeah, two. Okay. One, two. Right. Two, and on top. One, two, and on top. I think they're getting dangerously close, these ones, and I'm still not really getting enough altitude. Interesting thing will be whether the change can actually get up here. Well, they will be empty when going up, so that's something. And one, two. Oh, 
undo. An undo button would also be nice. You can always hack your way into the service and fix it for yourself. Uh, what? You vastly overestimate my abilities if you think I can hack anything. Oh no, we're out of concrete. If you're taking away the ramps, you don't. What? The bit of ramp you need. Yeah, I know. Yep, just the bit of ramp you need. Yep, that's also what. I've came to the come to that conclusion as I was midway, but once you're midway, you're just committed. But I kind of like it. I mean, I don't know what it's gonna be, what it's gonna look like without. I mean, I also have this one, and I think that's better, right? If these were just belts hanging out there, would that wouldn't that be awful? I think the floating rails will look awesome or have you seen floating rails because if you have then fine if you haven't they really need some inverted uh, ramps that would be so nice isn't that a sunk cost fallacy and uh, no it's not it is not a sunk cost fallacy it's because the argument is consistency. My argument is consistency. And then it's not a sunk cost fallacy. Pillars. Yep, I should be I like this one once in a while, but. Um, huh. I wonder what that one's doing there. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm, let's get some... Is that a crash part in the middle of the lake? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go over here. Because there are some nice belts that'll help me get home. But before we go home, I'm just gonna land on the edge. Ah, close. Well, it's not pretty. It's certainly not pretty. <laughs> Oh wow, they're slow. These Mark IV belts, oh, they're slow. Look at that icon before, b below my cursor. There's something weird there. The graphic, here. whoop. That one, you are not gonna survive this. One of those damn respawn trees. So is this one. Snake Lake Trees. That they call them. And that one is encroaching as well. Okay, the less flimsy than the belt, so it looks fine. Okay, we'll give it a shot. We will give it a shot. Um, I'm still gonna need a bit more concrete though. Whoops. I will just need to take this out. We are on a on a rampage. Let's remove these that as they are encroaching. Or close to. This one's also too close. I know it's ready to pounce at a moment's notice. Good. That should keep us somewhat sane. Oh, look how slow we are with the Mark IV build. Oh, did we ever, how could we ever be satisfied with that? Well, 
that's now colored a wrong color. Awesome. Okay, don't do that again. I must have a lot of crap here that I don't need. That I. These are gonna run out as well, so. Yeah, let's. Let's do that. Here we go! Gravity is a myth propagated by Chinese to make US manufacturing less competitive. Hmm, yeah, yeah, okay, good luck with that theory. And I think this could be an, uh, what? An interesting tower. Now let's try something. Let's try this one. This one goes. I want to get it. Just want to understand how far it can reach. Just continue until it turns red. Okay, so that's actually... Yeah. Try to get a sense of where I need this one. This is staying too long. Okay, fine. So we get that one and that one. No. All right. So this is too far. That's uh, one hell of a sky bridge we're building. Alright, does it say invalid shape or does it say length? That can still go. Too long. Too long? Okay. Not too long. Okay. So, ramp. Ramp. Probably need some more ramps as well because as it smoothens out, it probably gets better. Yeah. So difficult to find these. Um, I think more important than bringing the tracks up is actually burning through some more just to see if we get to a decent height up here. Oh, 
Hopefully not. Why would hopefully? Uh, is that going to devolve into a flat earth argument soon? Oh, okay. That's the hope not. <laughs> Why not? Looks like a perfectly interesting uh, thing to discuss at past midnight on a Saturday. That's exactly the kind of topics you want to bring up. Okay, I think we got we got the clearance here. At least good enough that we can can make it, right? to get above this one i'm happy that it did not get here so we have a bit more space to to work on oh this poor train can it even get up here actually a really good flat earth i don't know documentary on uh, on netflix it's really good it's haha <laughs> look at that just the only thing piercing the the skies and also some radar towers all right that's kind of an indicator of how high we are now i don't want to go flat in because i think that's still there are going to be issues here. Now, let's look at the map. Where are we? Okay, we are close to breaching this, but as we can see here, I'm here and I'm looking towards that one, but there is actually something else behind it. Another contour line. But once we get that contour line, that's actually still more contour lines there. And well, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Where do we get there? But maybe, just maybe, this is going to be the final height. Do we think that's okay? Or one more? One more. Let's do one more. And then let's just try to go in here. all of these trees can be killed. So far this looks like a pretty okay level. And it isn't. Whoops. Whew. My router just gave up because phone works fine. So Nino's in full resolution looks so much better. Paving concrete. Yes, thank you. Whew. Toxic Avocado is satisfactory. A complete game now. Mm, I think for most people you could consider it a complete game. Uh, it certainly has enough interesting things to play for a long time. And I'm poisoned. Quite, but very close. Yeah, and there we go. This is the problem. Let's have a look at see if this is. Uh, okay, please don't do that. Where are we now? This certainly looks like 
the highest point. So, how much did we miss? Or are we missing? Now where's my con- I lost my concrete! Is that- That seriously- did my, Am I just randomly jumping into this? Cool! Alright, well we're gonna take some of these in here and just munch away. Alright, let's see what, what's going on here. That's interesting. Um, where? Where the hell are you? Can't find it. Okay. I feel the damage has ramped up a bit. Huh. I am not seeing it. Where is it? Well, that's odd. track oh that would be lovely wouldn't it i doubt it though but uh i can check is that it no that's not it is that it No? Still taking damage. Holy shit, this is a big area. Okay, this is really peculiar. I've not seen that before. Uh, it was in the water. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Huh. Alright, well... Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? I'm gonna land in the water and when I land in the water I'm unable to heal because I'm in the water because I'm an idiot and I fell for their trap. Well, concrete will break your stupid trap. Anytime now. Trust me, the 5x5 centimeter is not that fun to watch. Also, the sound quality is something to miss in 160p. It really sounds unfun. Uh, however, I'm also not continuing for much longer. So, unfortunately, we found out that this is not high enough, but we did not find out sort of what height we needed to go to. this does that seem better we did have an issue over here right oh slug why am i doing this i've made a mistake i'm sure of it Shut up, stupid plant. Uh, 
Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I went here where I saw that it was not working, and then I moved further up, five tiles up, and then I'm, now I'm just testing to see five tiles up, seems good, or it's gonna bump into something over here. Is that another one? It's another one? Wow, that's so weird. Yeah, that's not good enough. Let's see. Is it protected by some... monstrous monster? That's some okay things. Operational. Okay. I've been kind of lucky with these two. Just ripe for the taking. Easy pickings. Alright, so that's not good enough. I'm just going back to figure out how much I need to bring it up. That's going to be six. Seven. There, that's it. Okay. And the other one will be next to it. So by bringing it seven up, that's where we get the right level. I just do this one on the way back. I know I'm double coveraging something. See if we can get back. I don't want to stop next episode out here in this crazy wilderness. And suddenly we realize that this is quite a lot higher than we've placed before. Above the treetops. Oh my god, that's a Alright, that was a small biter, <clears throat> but just small biters that just, yeah. Alright, we really need to stop this now. This is just outside this red forest, right? Your kids. Nope, not those small biters. Oh, I just want these to connect. I just want them to connect and then I'm moderately content about my uh, my progress on this silly, silly idea you had for me to build like a giant it is all your idea, so if it's good, then take it. Oh, this was, uh, look at that. Pretty close to the right location. Ta-da! <laughs> that does not look good. I'm just gonna get a nice panoramic view out here with the concrete bridge as part of it. There, we're gonna end here. Whew. Yeah. But this, this thing down there is our nuclear power plant. 
Uh, I had the time for minimal scouting, but the dice of fate say to raid. Yeah, I'm actually. Just let me have a look. Okay. Yep. Uh, you know what we absolutely need to do as the last thing, just to kill ourselves and just for everyone's enjoy enjoyment here. We're gonna jump down, right? I'm because I don't want to start up here. So. We're gonna raid in a short second, but first I want to fly. What could possibly go wrong, right? This is the fastest way to get down from this thing. This, oh, there you go. Go through the purple layer. I got an idea, a better idea. Land on this one. Oh, there's a lot of glitching. Alright, we landed safely. Let me see, who was it? Radio Chaos is where we are ending or jumping to. Let's go. Uh, there. Alright, oops. Thank you all for joining. Thank you very much for keeping me company and enduring my bit of saltiness about the trains, but also encouraging me to persist. It's been awesome. Tomorrow, Factorio, new mods, everything, the events from last time are updated. Everything's gonna be awesome. There's a new little kink about how uh, uh, subscriptions will interact, but um, I hope to see you there. So thanks, good night, have fun, and thank you for your support. Good night, everyone. Stay effective.